Hi, I'm Katie and this is Interactive Concept 4. And for this one, we're going to be showing, or actually rather making a fireproof balloon. So I've already filled up my balloons. I have one that has water in it. I put about a quarter cup of water in a balloon with air as well. So I filled it up like a typical balloon, but with some water in there. And then I have another balloon in which I filled up with just air. So what I'm going to do first is demonstrate what happens when you take a lighter and place it next to a balloon that's filled up with air. All right, so I expect this to burst, so that's why I'm kind of moving my face away. I don't really have protective goggles. I guess I could get a face shield, but I don't really have that right now. So. I'm just gonna move away from it while I place the flame underneath. <laughs> I guess my um, actual tie of that balloon wasn't very tight, so that's probably why the air just escaped out the top as opposed to just bursting all together. So, <clears throat> yeah, the balloon actually, here, let me grab that balloon. The balloon, you can see burning rubber. I can smell it here. Um, so there's a little hole in it where it burst and um, came out the top as well. It didn't fully burst though, these are tough balloons. But yeah, so what happened there was air has a low heat capacity so what happened was the air got really hot quickly and caused the pressure to open up and burn through the balloon and then the balloon popped so let's try that same thing with a balloon with water in it so let's see so i'm gonna take my lighter hold it from the top for safety so see the water down here i'm gonna take the flame to the water. And you can see here, right, the flame is on the water. This is about how long I held it with the other balloon too. And at this point, the balloon actually burst. So you can see that the flame is actually touching on the balloon there. why did that happen the specific heat capacity that water has is high so water has a high specific heat capacity and what that means is the amount of energy taken in or given out when the temperature of a substance changes by one degree is its specific heat capacity so water has a high specific heat capacity and that enables it to stay cooler longer than say the air was in the opposite balloon the one that was just air filled so that's why this was fireproof so to speak and if i had taken that flame and placed it right up on the air portion it would have heated up quicker because i would be heating specifically that air but what's happening is this water is keeping it cooler so this rubber here doesn't actually burst. Um, so yeah, that's the main difference as to why the balloon with water in it did not burst and the one with just air did burst is that we're demonstrating the property of water has a high heat capacity and that is the ability to, or rather showing the property that water doesn't heat up as quickly as air would. And that's all, thank you.